Hey guys, it's Chink in HSW in part 5. I do believe. Um, not feeling too good today. But during, to, during this stream, I'm going to talk about that. Health and streaming and video games. And how it helps me. So, um, let's get started. Oh, it's telling me how long I streamed this time. Last time it didn't. Hopefully, that bug that I ran into in the last stream is gone for good. Because that was annoying. That really actually frustrated me. I wasn't feeling too well that night either, though, either, to be honest. But it was frustrating. I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> so we just got off the planet. There's the planet. Ooh, that looks, that is beautiful. I wish Earth had those rings. How cool would that be? Um, anyways, uh, what are we doing here? Um, I got everything else done. Journal. Passage to anywhere. Alright. Speak to Gladys, the groundbreaker. Okay, retrieve the holographic shroud. Why would Shroud be in the hologram? I thought he was streaming on Mixer like we do. Oh, oh, not not that Shroud? Oh, okay. Um, well, let's go take a look, shall we? Hello? Anyone in here? Make yourself at home, Captain. Oh, this is my quarters? What's this? The holographic shroud projects the skies on you and your companion that gives you access to a restricted area, provides you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limit to unauthorized personnel and otherwise results in being attacked on site. Oh, cool. Alright, uh, what, what do we got here? Message for Alex Harthor. Few messages. Oh wow, I got a lot of unread stuff here. Let's start unread list. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention in my previous messages. Silly me. I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serials, The Space Avengers of Singularity. Still, okay, Singularity. Still, it's about a dashing space pirate with the heart of well, still. It's not exactly broad approved, but don't you go showing it around to your space buddies. Space buddies. I hope it will amuse you while you're out adventuring. Any similarities to a certain somewhat are entirely intentional. Okay. Oh wait, there was more. Uh, logs. The, the shrink ray. Note to self, remember this later. No better, oh wow, dude, there's a lot. I might not read them all. Okay, I'm not a big reader. ADA reminded me weekly to check this log until I tell you to stop. Yes, I mean continuously. No, Ada, not if I'm dead. Why would you even ask me that? Back to my point. I saw actually in, I saw in actuality with my own eyes, a similar to powerful weapon in the well's lap. Just sitting there for the taking. If the gray hair were to look away and forget about it, maybe. Or if I had asked a smidgen more nicely. He called it a shrink ray, but it wouldn't let, he wouldn't let me test it out. That claimed after I lost my temper. He said he was inspired to create the thing by the achievements of other scientists who dared to push the boundaries of human knowledge and decaying laws. I had heard rumors of the fantastical weapon, like this one, weapons that push the boundaries of the mind and science cutting edge, but I figured they were just stories. To be honest, 
Laying eyes on a well shrink ray firsthand is enough to make a fellow wonder if there's more to the rumors. Last time I got slogged. I mean, was embedding at the last hope of the groundbreaker look on him was really free with the drinks. He seems like a okay fellow. I shamelessly but similarly eavesdropped on two Merton's yammer on about mad scientist some years back who claimed he'd made a huge discovery. Okay, I'm not going to read all these. Um, if you want to read them, just pause the video. I do would like to read them too, but I just want to get going. Uh, reason why is because um, I was going to have a talk with anybody who watched the video or the stream, it don't matter, about acquire the weapon. Okay. Oh, I got skill points available. Oh, I, I, I didn't know. I forgot. About um, chronic pain, chronic illness, you know, disability, and video games. And how video games help with such things. I should make my own video on it. Instead of bug you guys about it. But I'm going to talk to you in the stream about it anyways. Because I, lately I have been in a lot of pain. And, and stuff. So. Uh, Meline. Yeah, we'll put one on Meline. I'm not sure how often. I'm going to put two on range. Uh, two on dialogue. One on defense. One on stealth. I'm going to put two on technical. And one on leadership. That's how I'm going to do it this time. And I guess I have a perk too this time. Alright. Uh, tactical time. Mutamax. I don't hardly use that. Have you noticed that? I thought I'd be using it a lot because I love, like, the game in Fear. I love using that kind of stuff in Fear, but this. Let's do that. Alright. And she's got, it looks like, my girl. Oh, no, Vic. You're not my girl. What, what are you, okay, what are you wearing? Really? I'm a 10. Not too bad, I guess. Um, there's that, but he's not really that type of guy, is he? So I'm going to keep that one on for right now. Dialogue skills plus five light armor. Ooh, I don't know. I would like at least medium armor. You know what? We'll do it. Um... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that's the only other helmet I have? Oh, no, that. Let's do that. There we go. Now, I don't have to look at his ugly face. Of course, the first one's gonna go into health. Alright. And how's my girl doing? She's doing more than fine. Okay, journal, side quest. Weapon from the void. Let's do this one first, and then we'll do the side quest when we get to the other planet. Nice view. That is an awesome view. Alright. What's in here? Oh. Okay. Where's everybody's quarters at? Boylands 3 had a way bigger ship than it. Oh, wait, who's this? Oh, hey, is that, is that, Sometimes hey, yeah. Sometimes I hear Vicar saying prayers to himself. Sometimes I hear him cussing about toss ball scores. <laughs> Did you learn your train from your father? Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. We seem to have it in for you. Um, your work besides your father your whole life? 
Did your dad ever work on spaceships? Not on the regular. Once in a great long while, a Saltuna boat would break down on the pad. He'd always bring me along for those. Mostly, he did the same as me. Kept Bess, I mean, the, the cannery, running. Turned loaders, plumbing and electricity, some plastering. I never got the hand of that. We seem to have it in for you. You worked beside your father your whole life? Except for my schooling years, I was always beside him. Or tied to him. He used to carry me about in a sling when I was real little. When I got older, he set me to sorting tools and parts while he worked. Later, he taught me simple fixes like busted crate latches. I'm not exactly a model employee. Not like he wanted. The kind that stays quiet and gets the right work done in the right order. Ah. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. Okay. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. I don't blame you. Oh, there were a whole lot of reading, and not nearly enough doing. Ah. Like before they'd issue you a wrench, they wanted like an school. essay on the design of different wrenches. <laughs> there'd be quizzes on company regulations for storage and maintenance of wrenches. Okay. Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big old hug. Ah. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Oh no. About a year. Uh. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects. Or Same with my dad. Listen to my fretting. Oh, In real God. life. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. What? You want me to leave? No, 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 no. Oh, that's no, no, a relief. No, no. Thanks, Captain, for letting me stick around. I mean, no way. Oh my gosh, I thought I was talking about leaving to her thoughts with her dad. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I almost got rid of my favorite character. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That would have sucked. Oh my gosh, that would have sucked. <laughs> No, my dad never told me he loved me either. Want I knew to be he a did. Brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Really? Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Choosing to respect all the defense skill points, then you can spend time in a different way to place. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was for visual looks. But yeah, my dad never told me he loved me either. Never told me he was proud of me. He did my other brothers, though. I was in a... Just started out as MMA fighter when, we, when he passed away. But I loved him, regardless. And then I know he loved me. He always had a hard time showing emotions. I don't. God has turned me into a wuss. <laughs> I cried when Vegeta died in Dragon Ball Z. Fighting Boo. I was like, no, not Vegeta. He is my favorite character. Do you get any benefits for sleeping? Let's sleep for seven hours. Take a nice nap. Resting in bed the relaxing moves time. Difficulty can only rest in your bed on your ship. Um, 
I'm going to fix a cup of coffee. I guess while I do that, I can talk about that. Gaming helps with a lot of things in your lives. Helps with stress, helps with uh, anxious, helps with uh, anxiety, helps with depression. It helps with a lot of things, and um, when you're hurting in chronic pain, it can really help with your chronic pain as well. Keep your mind off the nerve pain, off the spasms, off the stuff. I mean, it doesn't take the pain away. There are times I wish I had a pain med, and, and my brother wants me to take medical weed, and I can't stand the stuff. I really can't. Um, I don't take no, nothing for my pain other than ibuprofen, but it does help to game, but it's, it's, a uh, pain, it's gotten to the point to where it's affecting my hands now, and of course you need hands in order to game, but it's kind of hard to game with hands when um like like your hands are spasming they're swollen hurting there are times i can't even hold a controller so but watching even watching people play games help a little bit but it gets you out of the mindset of this world into another world especially when you role play role playing in a game is helps you a lot mentally and physically because you become that character that you're playing with. If you've got a good imagination. If you don't have a good imagination, I don't know how role playing is for you then. <laughs> but I can see how people can get addicted to video games. Because it does affect your mental state as much as your physical state. If a video game helps with pain, nerve problems and stuff, it, it obviously takes your focus off that and put it in the game. So people with an addicting nature can get addicted to this stuff. I know, I take a lot of breaks. There's times... I go days without playing video games, but I'd like to get into more into it because, um, well, let's face the truth. I my body is not going to change. I was hoping to get better. I'm not going to get better. And there's plenty of games out there that I want to play. So I'm going to put my main focus on games and streaming. And just having fun. If people, like, I have videos on my YouTube channel that hasn't been watched in months. You know, my average views are five views a video. But I'm just doing it for fun. If, if people watch it, they watch it. I do get sad at times, you know, looking at them. And I've got 400 friends on my friends list and only five views. You know? It, it does get depressing. But I'm not doing it for money or anything. I don't care if I have a million subscribers. And get 300,000 views a video. I'm never going to monetize my videos. So that, that's just the way it is. So. Um, anyways. Uh, back to the game. I'm done making coffee. I know I pulled my heart out a little bit while I was making it, but you know what? That's who I am. There will be things that I want to talk about, and I will talk about them. Go Raiders. All right. Uh, where, where is that? Let's see if we can find him. What is this? Who is Sam? Dude, that looks cool. I want him. Oh, wait. I want him. 
Who is Sam? He's just someone's in here. What is that? It's a wrench. First wrench that I did be gaming. Oh, it's her room. Okay, this is her room. Who's this? Oh, there he is. As always, I am at your disposal. Anything you'd like to discuss? Yeah, I just want to see how you are. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Uh, violently? Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. Um, were they not religious? Let's talk about, no. Why would they? My parents, ironically. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to them, regardless of the situation. I envied that. Ugh. I wanted that peace. I thought Turn if I became off. a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. Ugh. Uh, tell me about your religion. The simple version is this. The force which we call the Grand Architect created God. the universal equation that underlies and defines everything in the universe. Everything flows from the equation, or in layman's terms, the grand plan. Is the grand architect a consciousness? A yep. natural force? Yep. Did it create the equation on purpose? Yep. The answers to these <laughs> questions don't really matter. The equation I just the answered plan, them. is all that matters. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in the plan. Sounds a lot like Christianity. The plan is not one rigid path. There are a variety of multitudes contained within it. Our paths have variants, but we'll end up adhering to it, whether we like it or not. That's not Christianity. Some choices make the path <laughs> some rougher. You can even go outside the lines, but the further outside you go, the worse it's it like gets. an unbreakable elastic band. It will only stretch so far before it snaps back. The further it is stretched, the more violent the eventual correction. That's interesting. Huh. Does it have this something to do with your religion? Bokono, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Uh... Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the Philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's mm. an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. All right, we'll do that then. How do we find That's him? That's a good question. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. How would the crew manifest help us track down the Scholar friend? No. 
How's it that simple, Beck, and happens to be such a highly skilled hacker? Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary Secular skills. Block. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard toss ball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Oh. All right. Um. Thank you, Captain. Okay, we're gonna go do that um, later. First, I gotta leave the planet and um, get to where we need to go. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I only have two people. I wonder how many people I'm going to end up on this ship with me. There's only one, two, three. There's, there's five bedrooms. Five bedrooms. So we'll have to find out and see. I know it took me a long time to finish the first area, but this is how I played each type of games. I take my time looking every creek and corner to make sure I get things right. Let's go do it. Oh, whoa, okay. Also, we can immediately go do it. Oh, hold on. Welcome to System Map. Here you can see all the planet systems as well as some special points of interest that you may discover. You can fly your ship to any location that you have unlocked. Though some landing bays require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Alright, so I can go ahead and do those if I want to. I was thinking they were on the same planet. The Empty Man. On the unreliable, if you can get it running again, it may prove useful. Ask Ada and Sam. Let's do that. I'm guessing this is Ada. How can I be of assistance? Know anything about you, Darius? Janitor's closet. The unit is a cleaning, Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go do that real quick. I thought I read... Didn't really read it, you know what I mean. Climbing up the ladder. Climbing up the ladder. It looks like the uh, directional thing is working again. Oh, well, how, how did I get over there? How did I... Wait, how did I get... Oh. Up here? Did it, was it up... It might have been up there. I'm trying to... And it, uh, was it up here? That, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's go. What, wait. Uh, there we go. This is my quarters now, I guess. Alright. First Sam, result. Do not forget, you found the discarded sanitarium and the maintenance automechanical and emerald bells scrap heap during the last drop. It should not be too difficult to get it up and running with a few modifications. I can erase a combat capable variant. Some might say a clean, mean killing machine. Should be fun. Removal of the factory standard parts, suds, steeper, was successful. Delivery of combat modifying replace our, our part, acid steeper, has been delayed. Progress set back to estimate now to be a solid three months. Not like I have more pit or pressing matters to attend to. Ha! But I do. Okay. I'm giving up hope on the delivery. The party is on lost in transit and not turning up anytime soon. But good news. 
I heard from a fellow known as the gal who knows the broker who overcharged me for an information regarding the location of the asset steeper. I can, uh, bet, flitch? The part, or a fitch, felt, fitch, felt, felt, whatever. The part was sent to an old storage facility in Rosemary, or Roseway. I should sure never thought to go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick up following the pit stop back to Emerald Grove. Alright, so we're going to Roseway, I guess. Well, alrighty, let's, let's uh, see if we can go there. Um, it could be too high level, but we'll find out. Alright, talk Welcome to her again. Back, Hello? Be of assistance? Um, see what she's got to say. Minutes, many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. What if you don't get your power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? I guess so. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire <sighs> the alternative. And what might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Oh. What about your last captain? Do you miss him? Or is the captain seem as the other? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Have you been other captains on this ship? If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I need to check something here. Found in interesting, uh, regarding... Wasn't there one I had to go back to Groundbreaker? Yeah, locate security terminal on Groundbreaker. Is that where I'm at now? Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Oh. Okay. I guess that wasn't where we are now. Alright, let me get Victor. You got a minute? Hey, yeah, girl. I always got a minute for you. What's up? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. Okay. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. Sure. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Alright, uh, should I take Vinkum with me too? If he wants to go, he's got that hacking skill. So he might be, he might, there's gotta be a, what, another, there is another way up there. 
Oh, I broke my leg. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. All right. Where's he at? Can I take them both? Yo, Vicar, we're here. I spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. What else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime? Uh, so, tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. You come with me. Is he not coming with me? Of course. Are you ready to break into security on the Groundbreaker? Three text breaks have been printed almost half a century. The margins are filled with scribble notes and many passages have been underlined. So, I guess I'm breaking in to the groundbreaking security. Let's meet the engineer first, Dan. We'll go do her engineer stuff. We'll do that first. Before we break into security, because I'm sure after we break into security, we're going to have a problem. Can I take them both? Yes, I can. That is something from Mass Effect. This is very cool, dude. This is very cool. We're at the ground, Bricker. It's a nice ship. I wonder if I'm going to have to take, like, um, the weapons offline when we steal that information. Whoa! Uh, I'm going to try something real quick. I'm going to see if they changed. Um, that's our ship. They changed something. So, um, yeah. Hey, Captain. I never thought I'd be able to say that. <laughs> wow. We'll see something real quick. Nope, won't let me. I was hoping that I'm I'm streaming on Xbox One X and I was hoping they'd let me That's um not the point. This hack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Alright. Jack has had two. Yeah, it's Dylan. You're not making this any better. Let's go meet the engineer. Wow, dude, this is awesome. Wow, look at the uh, other ships. Customs and inspection, right this way. Hello there, sir. Identification, please. Uh, I... There you go. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Oh, no. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time what? as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. So I'm stuck here? How do I get You'll this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. You damn straight I'm going to. The office to. is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. 
And you did why my ship's impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, <sighs> but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Great, I'll go talk to and straighten this out. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Why would I do you a favor? You just impounded my ship. <laughs> sure. Wanda Dorset over a sick day? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. A shipment? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Okay, got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Did I go on my ship? Name Glads? The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Okay. Looking for a drink. Any recommendations? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder. Straight through security. I don't care about There's the a other bar stuff. On the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Mm. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. <sighs> got it. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. You noticed, huh? I'm sharp like that. No, people won't stop yapping about what it. What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. Why can't Groundbreaker and Board just work together? You sure you didn't just step off one of the interstellar freighters? There's no working with the Board. They don't share. Not bits, people, or resources. You work for them, or you don't work at all. Groundbreaker cooperating now would be tantamount to joining their ranks, and we sure as shit ain't about to do that. I'm glad it's a turned. delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighters' docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? Yep. The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow Boy, the graphics are good. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. All right. Be seeing you. All right, let's, uh... Crap. We're stuck here. Um... Alright, uh, what to do? Let's go ahead and keep doing that. Let's find her engineer first. Looks like we're going to be stuck here for a little while, so. Class objective requires you into the restricted area. If caught inside, you will be shot on sight. Using dialogue will prevent immediate hostile. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chick. 
I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives. So where is the security? We'll we'll, we'll deal with that. Let's go find the engineer first. No, seriously, there was a lot of static at first. But then how do I know if the place is? Said his name was Grant. Grant, hmm? right? Broadcasting a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, I mean, whoa! Who told you that? This is a ship. Not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. This is a ship. The Lost Hope. What's in here? <laughs> oh, this is the bar. Okay, we'll come back here later. Rest and go. Bell of Shelley's. What you got there? You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, ah. That's how you know your weapon loves you back. Amen, sister. I've got sister. a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Well, show me what you got. Merchant skill. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate price and buying and selling from vendors. So I can actually negotiate. I'm going to sell first. Um, so things I probably won't need. Light machine gun. Shotgun. I won't need a light machine gun. It does do 320 damage though. Okay. Uh, armor I don't need. Don't need that. Don't need that. That I want to kind of keep mods. I, I want all the. I want to keep all the mods. Sell all junk. All right. We got seven thousand six hundred and twenty-nine. See what she's got to buy. Fun times barrels increased. Man, how come those are locked? I got enough to buy these. How come they're locked? Wow, look at that. Probably just out of my level. Let's see what else you got. Weapons, armor. What type? No armor? Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, what's this place? Wasted disposal. Yes, I know, I'm checking everything out. Wait, it's just garbage, what am I doing? Medical bay. Let's go meet the engineer. Dang, uh. Hack. Looking for work. Originally looking for a new crew to sign with. I've been stuck in Hydro for almost a year now. Don't know what's holding up on my next position. Never had to wait this long to get another freighter. I'd plan to take one of the rare long hauls back to Earth, but I haven't been able to find any. Down on my luck. Hey, here's my story. My ship's in impending. The groundbreakers is rough state. We couldn't make it. The repair fees, the docking fees, refueling or fees. For not being able to pay out fees. I'm kind of stuck here now. Hmm. And my credit's shot to hell and the corporate freighters won't hire me. I'm hoping someone would bank our bunk to spare up and places to go. I'm, it's feeling charitable. Uh, he sounds like, I don't know, man. Food situation. 
To those who have raised concerns about the quality of groundbreakers, oh well, yes, I'm aware of the female maid stinks. Allow me to put matters at rest. Our ancestors didn't raise the humble beginnings on a diet spratwurst or bolst, but that's the reality of life here. If you can salt it, can it, and zip it in a pouch, then we're not picky about calling it food. <laughs> oh my gosh. Spacers make do what they have. Alright. I got a message. I'll be right back. I should have a message. Okay. Hello. All right. Go back Messages to them. You gold -plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really going to arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. Uh oh. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? Guarding stairs with that walking mustache dude on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. Hi. Hmm? Hi. Move along. Hi. Carry on. Hi. Got my sights on you. Hi. Huh? Hi. Hey. Hey. Got my sights on you. Hi. Move along. Oh. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Vinny. Never seen him. Report any sightings to your local board. Never team. seen him. All right. We go. We don't go in there. We go in here. Aha! Is this restricted? If you're not crew, you're little people. Um, that's not. <laughs> Here she is. Thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub level. Mm. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. June Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, you're fine. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Um... Ain't that always the way? So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. You see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate brats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. Yeah, I bet. Different. So welcome aboard. Well, thank you very much. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Oh, boy. They want us to sit, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. I'll do it. I... We'd be grateful for your assistance. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Oh, 
Hold on. There's something you should know before you go charging off. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Okay. Not a problem. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Oh. Uh, this whole deck smells like ass. Only gonna get worse if I don't get those radiators fixed. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Force of habit, I guess. <laughs> um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. <sighs> right. In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. I love her. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Nope, we're good. Let's go help her out. Definitely. Nope, we're not gonna do that yet. Um, right there. There we are. Gonna be a long game, huh? This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Okay. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. Anarchists live as one with the Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm hungry. I'm going to take a little break and get something to eat. And I will meet you in part 6 of the video. So this one's going to be a short one, but I will be back today to play some more. So, uh, continue this. Oh, wait. Continue this in part 6, and uh, I'll see you guys there.